Hello and welcome to the EBNet's YouTube channel. My name is Emily. Thank you for being here. I am the maker behind everything you see here at EBNet's. And today I am here to announce my first ever make along that I am hosting and hope one or two or more of you will be willing to join me in making summer hats. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know I'm basically obsessed. I have so many ideas and maybe it would be more appropriate to be making this video outside, but we're next to a window at least. Um, and it's a sunny day for once. It's not raining all day here, or raining half the day, I should say, here. I am based in Orlando, Florida, and it is so hot every day and so far um, this summer, but it is, and then it's a very, very humid, like 95% humidity, but then it has storms um, sometime in the afternoon, but today it hasn't rained yet, so we'll see. Um, but anyway, that's a complete aside. I'm here to talk about the summer hats make along. So make along meaning knit, crochet, sew. I probably be knitting and sewing, not sewing, knitting and crocheting them hands. I wish I knew how to sew. That's on my bucket list. Um, so let's get into it because I'm very excited. So I made a Ravelry group just for, well, I made a Ravelry group for the podcast. So I'm going to be showing you my laptop and right now I am going to show you the Ravelry group. So if you don't like looking at Ravelry, I caution you to just not look for a moment. Um, I don't even know if this is helpful to you, but it's called EB Knits, and we are going to host the Summer Cats Make Along through there. There is a, um, I'm the only one who's posted so far, and then we can also post it through like YouTube here, just through fun comments and things like that. So hopefully someone wants to join me. If you don't, I'm having a blast making all these summer hats, but thought maybe someone else would want to as well. So I made a bundle to show you all my favorites and um, I'm going to show you that later in the video of tons of ideas I have for myself and some ideas I have for you if you're interested. But let's get into just a few of the guidelines before I get too carried away and too excited. So feel free to double or triple dip in other make-alongs, other cals, other crochet-alongs, all that stuff. This is not formal. This is completely 10,000% informal. Um, it's a make-along, like I mentioned, which means feel free to knit, crochet, or sew any kind of summer hat. When I say summer hat, I'm thinking of bucket or sun hats. Here's a bucket hat I knit. Here's some sun hats I crocheted. But if it's really cold, cool in your area and you want another beanie, make a beanie. Whatever summer hat means to you, I'm cool with. So enter as many projects as you'd like. I'm gonna be making a ton, I think. Um, rough dates are from now until August 15th of 2022, I'm thinking, like let's make it last most of the summer because why not? We can enjoy these hats for a long time and I plan on keep, I'm planning on continuing making and making more. So I have two down, thinking a lot more to go <laughs> till I lose steam at least. Um, prizes? I don't know if there'll be prizes. I don't know if anyone will want to join. If you do, let me know. We can talk about it, think about it, but um, for now this is just kind of for a sense of community because like I said, I don't even know if any single human would want to knit this with me or make this with me. So we'll see. Hopefully if you're watching this video, you might be interested. Let me know. Comment below. Um, finally, just have fun and enjoy the warm weather. So those are the brief guidelines. They are no specific rules. Um, if you are able to use Ravelry, I would love if you would join the EB Knits face, uh, Facebook group, Ravelry group, and just introduce yourself, comment in the Summer Hats Make Along thread so we can bond about what you're making or thinking about making, share color choices, all the things. Um, okay, so like I said, there is a bundle that I created, but I'm going to put my computer aside and just chit chat about all of my ideas for what I'm going to be making um, over the next few weeks, few months. So I already made two and if you watch my vlogs you've seen these. This, These are both the same pattern. They are the Marled Summer Bucket Hat by Pam Sapienza. She is from The Knitting Place and this is the small size. It is marled. It is, let's see if I have do I have, okay here, this is a different color, but it's the same yarn. It's Wool in the Gang New Wave yarn. I think it's considered an Aran. 
but I did hold this new wave yarn again. I used the I used a lighter color, not white, but okay, let me grab my, my whole box I have here. Um, so I held this new wave yarn. Oh, let me move this back so you don't see the door. Um, this with I held it with True Boo from Lionland. So it's just a lot of scraps from cotton projects and. This is a cotton polyester blend. This is rayon from bamboo. I've got these are Supima cotton. Got little scraps from a random projects from that. Um, this is a linen I may use. This is a lyocell I may use. Just like random scraps. This is some knit picks yarn. Cotton, cotton linen. This is a beautiful yarn, Sammy Organic Cotton. This is the softest cotton I've ever felt. I have a whole shirt that I'm in love with with it, but I didn't use this last skein. Um, got this. This is a True Boo again, but it's True Boo Sparkle. My nemesis. I hate this yarn, but I'm going to finish it and never use it again. Um, anyway, okay, so those are all of the yarns, some of the yarns that I have to work with. So. I'm going to use a combo of those to continue making these bucket hats. So this is the same hat, but in a larger size. There are two sizes in the pattern. And this one I made is the same stitch count as the large, but I added more knits in here to make the brim even bigger. Because one of my concerns with this, well, one, I felt the color was too light, too timid, I think. I was like, I'm gonna make a bucket hat. It's trendy, I want it to be bold. So I'm really loving the red. Um, and also secondly, the brim. I didn't feel like the brim did much here. Like the point of wearing the hat in the summer is to not only look cute, but to protect yourself from the sun. So I feel like this does a better job of that, hopefully. And then in the future, I might even try and make the brim larger. And I'm also going to work on the decreases to see if I can make them more gradual so it's not so bunchy at the top here but I am happy with the fit um like I like that there's a little bit more room in the head it's just because you know summer hats don't need to be tight so I think I'm gonna make at least one more maybe two of these I'm gonna do a white brim with a blue body I'm thinking and again, do this large size and maybe even make the brim larger and make those adjustments I just mentioned. And then um, Pam of the Knitting Place, she also has a crochet bucket hat option, the summer shade bucket hat. And she made a scrappy version. I loved it. So now, if you know me, you know that I'm, I can crochet, but I prefer knitting. I like the act of knitting more. Also, when I'm making, a lot of times lately, I'm reading my textbook for school, so I can prefer knitting like things like this in stockinette. Without looking, it's really simple just to keep my hands busy, whereas crochet, I would have to look and I couldn't pay so much attention to my textbook and my grades wouldn't like that. So um, I think I'm gonna attempt to make a scrappy version of this knit hat. So we'll see. But I do want to purchase her let me go ahead now and pull up her uh, crochet version just so you can see it actually here this is her she only has one picture up but if you watch the knitting place podcast they talk about it that's the knit hat it's the marled summer bucket hat that I was just showing you that's her photo. Now let me show you. So this, this is a summer shade bucket hat. This is the scrappy version. Love, obsessed, right? Amazing. Love all the color. Um, and it's double crochet. So you're not just sitting there doing a single crochet all the time. This is the one that made me fall in love. I love the checkerboard. So I think that I don't really, I mean, I, you could probably translate to knitting with intarsia, but I don't want to. I will probably make that version in crochet. Um, and then she also has a plain version. 
as well if you didn't want any mix of color you just wanted a solid hat so those are all one pattern which is really nice um, I think they do have different stitch counts but it's basically three different patterns and you just have to pay for one so I think that's really great um, yeah she has different gauges different yardages it looks like for each hat but they are all in double crochet so that's nice um, so those are some ideas for you and some of my future plans. I definitely want a scrappy one, whether that's crochet or knit. I want the checkerboard crochet one. I'm probably talking a million miles a minute because I'm so excited about this. For some of the crochet ones though, I think I want to use, I have this raffia yarn. So I'm going to show you it without making too much of a mess. The downside is that, yeah, it's, it's not fun necessarily. Like the way it's wound isn't easy. It comes out the bottom and makes a mess. This is Wool in the Gang, Ra Ra Raffia. This is in Trope Tan, I think. Yeah, Trope Tan. I have that color. I've got this white. Again, I don't know, I'm just nervous to this white. If you mess around with it too much, it just falls apart. I've got this lavender, which you will see. Yeah, falls apart. Um, and I've got this pink that I ended up blending into a ball. So, Raffia is like a paper yarn, and I think it is perfect for sun hats. So, I want to, and it, I've tried knitting with it before. I don't think it works up. It's not very complementary to knitting, I don't think. I think it does work a lot better in crochet. So, let me show you. So my future plans are to use that raffia for some of those hats. I have another idea too, but I'm gonna um, take a sip of water, calm down. And I'm gonna show you some of the other hats that I have made in the past. These are all from a few years ago. These are sun hats. Um, and these have wire in the brim it is a trick from Make and Do Crew. Look out! Uh, look up her fedora. Um, I don't know the name of it, but just look up her fed like Make and Do Crew. Look for her fedoras, and she has a tips on how to keep the brim floppy. Um, there are different options you can buy. Like I think there's hat things on Etsy you can purchase. Some people use a starch, but I used what she did. She grabbed some of this from Home Depot. I got this from Lowe's. It's just some galvanized steel aircraft wire rope. It's really, really long. I think it's 16 feet, so I have plenty for a long time. Um, it is hard. I have wire cutters, but even with that, sometimes I need to ask my boyfriend, honestly, for, um, ooh, my brush, yeah, for help with cutting it. And I hate doing that because I want to prove that women can do anything. But sometimes I struggle, in all honesty, with cutting it. Um, so this is the first one I ever made, this lilac one. It is all in single crochet. Um, the pattern, I didn't really follow a pattern. I started following a pattern and I realized it was going to be so massive on my head it wasn't going to fit. So I found a YouTube tutorial and kind of followed that and also just tried on as I went. So for these other two hats, um, I had written down what actually the formula that worked here. So that's what I did for these other two hats. Um, so this is these, this, the lilac one was mine and these two were actually my grandma's um so yeah again I think this has two or three rows of that wire so I tried something a little different and it's looking weird on this end so I'll have to mess with that and see why that looks okay um but yeah and then I have my cork EB tag there that is from all this wood LLC based in Washington state this one I just did a raffia braid around it but the this one has just a cotton uh, cord with some beads at the end and that's nice because it can you know obviously adjust the hat to fit your head and this one I don't think it's gonna fit yeah this one is I it's still uh, knotted to fit my grandma's head and it's much small which was much smaller than mine so but I love the hot pink color this one is actually held, the raffia is held double for this one. I wanted to see if that would make it more sturdy. And 
the answer is I think there's not that much of a difference um, but again I just chose a pink cotton yarn and uh, put some beads on there to add some more color so those are my three sun hats um I just I don't know I would definitely make more because I like the way it looks but the act of all this single crochet doesn't excite me at the moment so it'll be a while before I make another one of these exact sun hats but I have something similar that I started last year that I'm going to show you so this is a hat that no there's no pattern I saw it on anthropology somehow or actually I think I was looking up bucket more bucket hats to make or sun hats or something and this came up in my search so I'll insert the picture but then I found this flower motif so it's going to be essentially a sun hat I think the brim is gonna I think I'm gonna make the brim a lot less large like more like that probably um, but this these granny squares will be along they actually look kind of big but they'll be along the outside of the hat is the thought process but now when I'm holding them up they look a little big like maybe I should make them smaller we'll see to be determined all I have is these two squares I made these last year and I actually got this project out to make start the other night I had written down on Ravelry that I was using a two millimeter crochet hook great right I got my two millimeter crochet hook out. I walked away, I came back, and I feel like we can't find it. I know it's embarrassing to admit. Like, I set it down and I don't know. Like, I know my cat didn't take it. I don't know where it went, so. It was so frustrating. I just wanted to work on this, and then I spent the time of a month to work on this, looking for this dumb crochet hook that I set down. So, I'll have to find the two millimeter crochet hook, or just use a different size, or get a new one. Um, if I'm going to continue working on that project but there's one other hat that I just found recently the other day again I was just looking online at I don't know summer essentials or something and this hat popped up and I thought it was so cute and it is I can see myself overthinking it though because it looks I'm gonna put in a picture I'm gonna use that raffia and I'll probably use the white and then the tan as a few stripes to match that look of the hat but it looks very square like up here like big with a flat brim and it's very big I know that's the fashion that's the style I like it on the model but will I like it on me or when I'm making it will I second guess myself too much and just frog it we'll see I can see that being a hindrance of mine or a hurdle I have to overcome because I overthink a lot um, so those are my personal plans for as of now for all of the hats I want to make <laughs> so there was a lot there but let me see okay I was in my group on Ravelry and then my computer went to sleep. So now I'm trying to get back into it. Okay. So now let me show you the rest of the bundle that I put together in case you are a fan of something else. So again, I'm going to be showing you pictures on Ravelry. Okay, this is the Stop and Rewind hat. And I seriously consider making this last summer. And I just didn't here it is on the designer of crocheted simplicity I just was like I don't know that's nice I don't know if I like that I don't know I don't know I know I wasn't like into the bucket hat trend at the time um and I guess I wasn't into interested in trying it but that is stop and rewind sun hat by a, a crocheted simplicity I really do like that this hat I found on Pinterest and this is actually that first hat sun hat that I was reading the free pattern from for the original sun hat I made the purple one of this um, but I think this is like a lace weight yarn and I was using not lace weight and also I don't really know how to especially then didn't really know how to look at crochet gauge so I just wasn't that 
I'm still not great, but I definitely was worse then at reading crochet patterns. This is the Raffia Beach Hat by Joanne Lowe. Um, and then I guess I won't go through all of these because that would be a little excessive. But here's some more fun ones. This is the Frankie Bucket Hat. This is Crochet by Tony Lipsy of TL Yarn Crafts. I love, 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 love her patterns, her pattern writing, her guided videos. If you are a new crocheter, I highly recommend her. Um, I learned Tunisian crochet from her videos and just phenomenal. Oh, here's a unique one. This is the Bow Hat by Tran Yuen. I think it's really fun. I don't know if I'll make it, but I definitely think that's unique. And again, you can find these all in the Ravelry group in the bundle. Make and Do Crew, a Cleo Wide Brim Fedora is the hat I was trying to tell you about with the trick for the wire for keeping the hat less floppy. So um, she has a lot of good patterns as well if you want to learn crochet or crochet newbie. Um, and let me just show you there's so I was reading some bucket hat free patterns. Like let's just talk oh this is a project. This is the A Better Bucket Hat by Amy Swenson. It has 1300 projects. There's about a bus about a bus bus is about to go by. So this is the a better bucket hat. And this is actually, so the bucket hats I'm making are knit. You start here at the brim and then you just decrease. You can see the decreases here. You decrease and you go straight into here. However, a lot of the free patterns for bucket hats that I'm finding on Ravelry um, actually provisional cast on here they increase dramatically out to here, then you fold it over and decrease again back to the provisional cast on. So it's like this, it's almost like, you know, a double brim hat. Then you sew it or knit it back together. So it's double thickness on the brim. And then you go up is what I'm understanding at least from several of the free patterns I found on Ravelry. So that's an alternative way to format the hat. I think the double brim like that. I don't know if I would love on a summer hat, but um, it's worth a try. Obviously, if other people are doing it, it's got to be for a reason. So um, yeah, anyway, there are a few more options that I put together in the Ravelry group in that bundle, but we're at 23 minutes. I'm not going to go through every single one. Those are a good idea of them though. And um, I think that about sums it up. So I hope you will join me. I really, really do. Um, even just to talk about summary things or yarn combos or patterns you're interested in, you know, even if it's not a summer hat, I really do truly genuinely want to hear from you guys. And I hope we can just make this more of a community. Like we have about 460 followers now, I think, which is amazing. Um, but honestly, I don't feel like there's a whole ton of interaction. So I would love to get to know you more. Linda, I love your comments. I hope we get some more comments, some more interaction, and we can just continue to grow this community and become friends as knitters and support one another. I highly recommend these patterns if you wanna try one. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, whether it's about the make along or I can do my best to help with the patterns. Um, definitely the designer is the go-to person for those, but. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up, but again, thank you for being here, and I hope you join me in this make-along. I am very, obviously very excited about it, and I can't wait to cast on my next hat. Have a wonderful, wonderful summer, friends, and I can't wait to hear from you.